Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Physics Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I began to draw this um, more complex circuit using my pre-written Inkscape file of components where I copied and pasted those into position. And there's a link to this file uh, in the description of this video. Now let's just show you, I'll show you how I assembled the first few components. I needed an AC power supply, so I click on that, shift click on the resistor, shift click on the capacitor, that'll do for now, control C to copy those, and I'll come over here and place the cursor in the centre because that's uh, where the pasted selection will be centred, control V, you can see there are the components. I'm going to go up to view page grid, I've got a 5mm grid set, you can set that if it's not there by clicking document properties and over here clicking on grids and if you haven't got a grid grid information here click new grid after selecting rectangular and change the spacing x and y to five millimeters now i might want to rotate let's start with the ac power supply rotate that 90 degrees and i want to snap the it to grid now you can see at the moment if i zoom in it's snapping centrally because i've got center snapping all sorts of things turned on but uh, I wanted to snap to this grid point here. So if you have trouble, look, you can turn off the snapping altogether here. Or we'll just turn off snapping to grid and just move things by eye. But um, I'll show you how I do it. Just zoom in and click close to the node that you want to snap and then move it into position. You can see that node is snapping to a grid line. Okay. Now I might want to extend that uh, line a bit. So what you can do if you want part of a component, you can control click and that just selects that part. Then N for the node tool and you can see the node there. And I can control drag, control constraints to vertical until that snaps there. Likewise down here with the node uh, tool selected, actually I don't have to uh, control click, I, with the node tool selected I can just click on the part and then click on the node and drag it down until it snaps Then back to the select tool. So that's one way of modifying a component so that it lines up on grid squares nicely. Next thing is I'll move a capacitor into position. It's this one here. And let's say we wanted that about there. And again, you can see it's probably snapping not uh, to the grid uh, horizontally, probably snapping the top here. I'm not sure exactly what's, con what's overriding that. But again, if I click close to the node, the end, and drag it, it'll click on a grid square there. Now I might uh, join those up, show you how I do that with the Bezier pen tool or B, click that and then I've got uh, snap to nodes turned on cusp nodes as an end and I can just click, click and then enter when I've finished now my thickness was uh, half a millimetre and that's fine uh, if yours isn't that you can either change each one on the fly under the fill and stroke menu, stroke style and change into 0.5 or you can, after you've done the first 0.5 width, you can uh, double click on the Bezier pen tool and then click take from selection and that'll mean all of them will copy that selection. I've already done that so I won't do it again. Now I might want to put a resistor up in this area here. I'm zooming using the control and mouse wheel up and down. It's a very quick way to zoom in Inkscape. And to pan I just hold the mouse wheel down and drag around. So I drag this resistor up here and let's uh, say I want it here, I'll drag close to the end and then that's in position there. I might want another one, another resistor, so while it's selected, control D to duplicate in position, then control drag to drag down like that. And I might want it, oh that's snapped, it's behaved itself, an equal distance below this uh, line here so it looks about right. And I might join these up, one way to do that is just Again with uh, the node tool, N, click on one and then click the node and control drag till it snaps down to there. Likewise here, click on the node and control drag across to there. I'll join this up here. Uh, actually I need the Bezier pen tool. First so I'll click on that and then I'll click there, snap to grid and then I can turn a corner, click and enter to finish off and you can see I've got that section now done pretty well. Now I might want to have another resistor over here, I'll click on that, don't worry it's selected the longer leg, we can always adjust that. Control D, 
and perhaps move it to there. Again, I might want to grab close to the end. You can see I've snapped it on a uh, grid intersection there. Now I'll just uh, click on that leg and end for the node tool. Perhaps control drag to drag that up a bit. I might have to move a lot of these in a minute. I sort of haven't uh, got everything in position yet. Let's say I wanted the transistor. Let's take uh, this one here, click on that, control C, move back and around about here, control V, and I'll move that into, I'm trying to move it in the position there. Actually, I might uh, move it across a little bit. You can see it's misbehaving, so I zoom right in and then I can snap there. Okay, now click on that one and N for the node tool, control drag to snap that there. And you can see that uh, really I want this resistor, if you remember the opening picture, I want that resistor here. And what I can do is I can drag down to there and snap it onto about there. I can have wires overlapping, that's okay. But I might want to move this now up. Again, zoom in and drag with snap to grid on. So that uh, looks a bit better. Now, what are we up to? Another resistor over here, so I'll click on this, Control D to duplicate, and I'll just drag this to meet here. Check that that's okay, that looks lined up pretty well. Sometimes you can see, oh, see it's not lined up super well, I've got a bit of a thick line there. I control click on that, control picks part of a group and delete, and sometimes that uh, can tidy things up. It might be that uh, when I drew the transistor, this arrow was a little bit. Uh, in a slightly different position, not quite vertically below that one. But anyway, that shows you how you can tidy things up by control clicking and just deleting, say, a resistor leg, not the whole resistor. You can see that this one needs adjusting. N for no tool, click and control drag. Back to the select tool. A Bezier pen tool or B, I'll click here and control. Actually, I might go right across here because this uh, is required later on over there. And you can see I'm building that up uh, nicely now. I might uh, use the Bezier pen tool again, B, click here, and go across to the same uh, position above the end of the bottom rail. Okay, now I might want another one, Bezier pen tool in here, click, click, enter, and in between here, and this is a good example. Uh, where I want to click somewhere on here but it's trying to snap, if I click there you can see it's snapping I'll press enter to show you now I'll start again if I wanted to click here, click, click, enter you can see it started up, it snapped to a grid square at the start I'll delete that so I can turn off snap to grid if that really starts annoying me now if I click, see it's snapping to that path, click, control and you want to go out to the same level, you can mouse wheel and zoom out and I want to get it there but remember I'll turn snap to grid off so I'll just stop a bit short, click and enter turn back on the grid in for the node tool and then control click and now it snaps so sometimes it's a matter of turning the snap to grid on and off so you can see I've just about uh, built up the circuit, the main circuit now I think I'll uh, put on some uh, junction dots and, and nodes, or oh, the earthing symbol I need. Did I copy that before? I don't think so. So zoom in, click on it, control C, and it doesn't matter where of course, on the rail that you earth, but, uh, drag closer to the end, and there it is. Now the dots, you can use the ellipses tool, click in here and control shift to drag out a circle. We can use an existing dot. I'll just click on that, control C, it's part of the, the toolbox. And with snap to grid on, it'll snap to the nearest grid point, with, and I've got snap to centres on here. Rotation centre there, and uh, the, the actual geometric centre. So if I want a dot there, if I go control V, it should snap, and it has. Likewise here, control V, here, just cursor near it. And I can see I've got another bit of uh, circuitry I haven't put in there, but just re realised. 
I want to now I want to snap to this intersection. If I go Control V, you see it snaps up here. So I'll turn grid snapping off, and then drag this, and now it snaps. Now I'll turn the grid snapping on again. Where else? Uh, perhaps up here. Control V, and maybe this junction here. Control V. You see, I've got uh, those junction points. I'll put in the bigger one. Zoom in. More significant point, perhaps. Control C. Then over here, uh, at the top. Control V. Oops. It hasn't snapped where I wanted it. There it is. There. Just drag it to end of position. This one, Control V, and down the bottom, Control V. And then my uh, zero volts and VCC, common collector, rail voltage and V out. Now I just realised this one I want to uh, drag back a bit. So, I'll now snap the grids on, I'll just drag this back to, say, there. And I need a capacitor in this position. So I'll grab this capacitor, control C, anywhere up here, control V, rotate it around, and I'll drop it into position. There it's, uh, I really wanted this to snap there, so I'll drag close to the end, there it is, zoom in, in. and actually I'll click this one, end for no tool, I might drag that down to there, then the general selection tool and drag the whole lot of this. Actually, I'll click it there and drag it up to there. I want it to snap to this corner intersection here. I'll turn grid snapping off again, it's starting to annoy me. I'll try and snap it there, there we go. And end for node tool and just click here and drag that node down there. In an ideal world, I might have this centered so these legs and the capacitor were the same, uh, but I, I'll um, keep going for now. Now what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it apart from labels. Uh, but you might have noticed in here, sec sections like this, under high magnification, you can see they're not absolutely joined. So, an end for node tool, click on one, then shift click on the other segment. Looks like it's disappeared, but they're both on top of each other. Drag a marquee around them, and the third icon along joins them. You can see that's now a sharp join. So you can do that in any positions might be one up here. Click with the node tool. End for the node tool if you haven't got it. Shift click on the other segment who's got a node at the end that you want to join. Drag over both of them. Then the third one. Join those nodes and then back to the selection tool. So you can sharpen up your diagrams a little bit there. Oh, there's one more, is there? Yep, end for node tool. Click. Shift click to select the next one. Drag around. Looks like it's disappeared, but persist. Click that icon and we'll sharp up that corner. So that's pretty much the circuit I think. I'll just show you the, the labels and how we can edit those a little bit. Um, let's do uh, V in, click that, Control C and Control V. I'll drag that to there. Let's do the resistor labels. Let's click R1, Control C, Control V and just drag it into position. If it's a bit uh, too big for you, just control shift corner, you can drag it to whatever size you want. I'll control C on that and control, oops, control Z, uh, control D to duplicate, sorry, and then control drag down to the other resistor. Now, how to edit it, T for text tool, that puts it at the end. Now, I'm going to show you how I do this because Inkscape editing can be a bit fiddly with text sometimes. I'll type the 2, that's what I really wanted. Then I'll arrow to go past the 2 and backspace over the 1. If I'd have just um, control Z that, if I'd have tried to click in here and type the R2, you can see what's happened. It's picked up the formatting from the object on the left there. So you go to the end, or it's where it was when we clicked on it, 2, arrow key, backspace, and you can edit uh, that way. That's one way to do it. The dashed lines and V out and all that sort of stuff. You can do a similar way. I'll show you the dashed line. Uh, click on that. Control C. And it might be that we want to label the voltage between these two points. I'll just Control V. 
and rotate it around and I'll, that's snapped it and I'll, even if you snap it to a grid point see there the arrows protrude past that's no real easy way around that uh, well apart from clicking on it I actually don't have to click on it you go N for node tool then click on it and I'm going to take off all grid snapping with that zoom in and just drag that node down to about there just something you have to do with arrows click on that one and then drag it up to about there zoom back out Oops, and you can see that the, I've got the arrow in the right position. Now I might just show you how if you're really fussy and you wanted to say, you know, centre that power supply or centre this capacitor. What you could do is, you know, I've joined the, the line, but if I click on that and end for node tool and drag it up uh, just out of the way, click on this one and drag it down to control dragged about one and a half grid squares for its line now if I click on the capacitor see if I move it, oh it's part of a group so control Z uh, what I might do is control U to ungroup all those things now see the, these two are now separate actually that one oh no that's still grouped control Z sometimes you have to control U a couple of times just did it then now I'll just group that control G to group those two lines only and then drag them into position I'll just do this roughly visually I think from for now you can uh, use the alignment tools but uh, I think visually you can just do it by eye now in for node tool click on that and control drag down to there it's not snapping because I've got them off if I turn on snapping click on this one control and it snaps and you see I've you know, tidied that up a little bit I actually still haven't centered it, I just realized it was um, it's about two squares there and oh no, it's probably about right, maybe a bit of a visual illusion but I think you get the idea from my other uh, fiddling around let's click on this one and you see if I move it, it's all of that, control Z see if I control U a few times and then just drag around this bit and not want to center that, so there, now it's snapping, I'll turn the snapping off and control drag to keep it vertical and that looks like that's about centered now I can go back in for the node tool click on this and then control drag just by eye this one click control drag just by eye and you can see that looks a little bit neater so this idea of clicking tapping in for the node tool and then dragging individual nodes can help you line things up quite nicely so the net result after all that, that looks pretty similar if I zoom right out to the one we had over here, I've just done a bit more labelling as you can see but this uh, components file, if I take off the grid is quite comprehensive now, I've added to that uh, over the past few days and there's a link as I said to this Inkscape file that you can copy and paste from uh, in the video description that just about does it. Uh, I think I'll end it there. And as always, thank you for your attention. Bye for now.